So we spent our first night at Craigieburn Forest Park. Um, really nice spot. Oh, I heard more forks last night. Um, it was a very, very bumpy night though. We had quakes and a lot of little aftershocks. It was my first proper earthquake that I felt. The first one woke both of us up. Uh, I was quite jolty. Um, so that made for an interesting night. And uh, it's pretty cold and there are sandflies everywhere. So we're just having breakfast and going to try and head up to uh, Cheeseman's for a paragliding flight if we can. The winds are right. I tried taking off first and unfortunately failed miserably over and over until I had to give up. Josh, on the other hand, was committed and persisted until he finally got up in the air. How was it? Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> Sketchy takeoff, which had to be 100% committed, not 99, like some people. And uh, yeah, there was not very much lift. I thought there'd be more soaring or at least a little bit of thermic, but I guess it's too early in the morning. But I didn't want to go later than now because it's better to have not enough than too much thermal conditions. So yeah, just did a little across the face a couple of times and then got a bit low from my top landing so just landed on the side of the hill I walk here I was a bit scared that there might be a sink or something over there I wouldn't make it over the hog ridge or whatever it's called so safe and sorry our next stop was Pearson's Light where we wanted to put the boat in the water to catch ourselves some lunch but unfortunately there was no boats allowed on the water No motorized craft on Lake Pearson. They're feeding us. Come on. I'm coming. Are you corny panoramic shots that last too long? Well, it looks pretty cool to me. <laughs> too much of a wuss. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, it feels good in the eyes. Holy shit. No, it's too cold. Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we're just in Arthur's Pass having a coffee and uh, we've been trying to figure out where that earthquake was centered last night that I felt or both of us were walking up by it. Epicenter was there and we were camped right there. Just next to it. So yeah, we were pretty close. That's where we paraglided this morning on that ridge there. And it was a 4.7. I'll wake you up. It's my first earthquake. We just drove out of Arthur's Pass. We're on the viaduct lookout now, as you can see. Um, we've been coming here for years and usually every time we're here, uh, the Kios come down and play with us. So uh, Josh is trying to call them. Um, we'll see if they come today. There weren't any around Arthur's Pass when we went through. Um, waitress has said they already came twice today to steal sandwiches and then left again. So uh, maybe they're having a nap right now, digesting their stolen sandwiches. Uh, we'll see if they turn up. I hope so. They're a lot of fun. Not keen on people today, are you? Usually there's a whole gang here, and now we have one lone wolf. Who's scared of people? Well, that was really disappointing. That was my first time up here not seeing the seen, crazy Kias. You seen one? I seen one, but he didn't seem uh, didn't seem very well. I'm very keen to interact. So um, in town we only heard one. We didn't see any. Pity. We're gonna head on towards Hokitika. We still had a long road ahead of us towards Hokitika, so we stopped at the Otira Stagecoach Hotel, which is a relic from the gold mining days from 1865. It's filled with history, as well as a large collection of very random items. Thanks for watching and join us next week as we continue towards Hokitika. If you have any questions about the places where we stopped off along the way, do post them below. And please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.